Hi everybody, uh, my global master trainer, uh, Makuzu-san, is back in the United States and we had um, him and another master trainer and translator over for dinner last night and he brought me a bunch more of uh, Kato trains for my end scale layout. Uh, these are all Japanese prototypes. Um, really appreciate, so let me uh, sort of zoom in a little bit and talk about uh, them individually, at least what I know. Alright, so these are two in the end, I guess they're sort of boxcars type. Um, this and this look like a caboose. This looks like a regular caboose, and maybe a transfer caboose. Uh, they came in individual packages. And then we've got a passenger car here. Um, and, of course, the NJ Plastics is one of my cars because I just wanted to see how they sort of scaled out size-wise. So this, you can see in the background, this is part of the pocket line, Kato pocket line. And this is powered. This is a little steeple cab locomotive. Uh, of course, none of the freight cars really look anything like American cars. Maybe the one caboose sort of does, <laughs> with all the windows in the transfer caboose. Um, but it's really cool stuff. It's DC, so I haven't been able to run it yet, because my last DCC. But I've been toying with how I can uh, use this um, stuff. So it's put a bunch of ideas in my head. So, so let me uh, share sort of what I'm thinking about and... Or ask you guys opinion <laughs> of some things. Chime in in the comments. Tell me what you think. So in 2024, there's at least one remnants of a old interurban operating as a common carrier freight uh, railroad. It's in Iowa. I think I operate about five miles. Jawtooth has a really good video of it, and I will put a link to another video uh, about it here. So you know, I could have a little freelance railroad. Um, just serving a little, you know, a few industries. Maybe just, a, I don't know, another shelf somewhere. I, I don't know where I'd put it, <laughs> but it would be something that would be kind of cool to have. So that's one possibility, something I'm thinking about doing. So south of Columbus, Ohio, the remnants of the Soda Valley Traction Company, which ran to Chalkathy, served a power company, uh, as you'll see Reed here in a minute. It was actually uh, dieselized into the 50s. I remember the bridge still across Route 23 in the 1970s. That'd be another thing I could sort of uh, freelance, something that sort of uh, served a power, uh, an electric company. Uh, just a lot of different little possibilities for that locomotive. I don't know if you remember the uh, N-Scale Clinchfield Railroad that the model railroad did years ago. They had a power company and a coal mine loads in empties out. You know, I wouldn't do the coal mine, but I could have the power company and have a backdrop down the middle of like a little two foot by four foot layout and have the interchange on one side, power company on the other side, and do a loads in, empties out with the little electric locomotive. I think that sounds kind of interesting, but, you know, maybe that would be too limiting. Just I don't have one type of freight car because they had no other freight service on this line. It was just coal to the power company. Um, but it is something local to me, from you know, near Chalkathy that I was interested in. I remember it. Anyhow, I remember part of the line being there. Uh, give me your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think I should do. You know, I, I, I'm thinking, uh, I'll show you where I'm thinking about putting the layout uh, right now. So if I just made a little two foot by four foot layout, uh, very lightweight frame. I could just keep it on top of this uh, on my lighting bins. Uh, it will easily hold that. Those shelf brackets will easily hold that. Uh, when I want to run it, I've got a, a card table. I just set it up in the middle of the room. Set it on that. Keep DC power. Uh, I'm going to run one locomotive at a time. Um, so it might be kind of fun to, to do. Fun little project. Um, <laughs> again, like I said, I solicit your your opinion. It's not going to be something that happens right away. I still want to keep working on my, my layout uh, that I've got. I want to finish up the yard, 
uh, the scenery around uh, you know Water Street and the uh, standard elevator but uh, you know just uh, that's sort of inspired by <laughs> by this stuff intrigued by it I've heard these are really good running locomotives and uh, I think it you know I could have really sharp curves uh, really small freight cars and so anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed this looking forward to hearing your uh, comments uh, everybody stay safe <laughs>